Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Walk Covent Garden. It's Walk Wednesdays once again, and this week it's a British Chinese classic, crispy chili beef. And don't forget guys, if you want to learn more, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now there's numerous different ways of cooking crispy chili beef. It's one of the top, most popular, famous dishes of the UK. I would say it's almost like a, an evolved version of sweet and sour. Definitely not healthy, something for a cheat day. The main base for me is to get a base of ginger, garlic and chilli. And this will create a nice sort of homemade version. So you want a fair bit of ginger and garlic. Everything here needs to be nice and finely chopped up. So a rough chop of my ginger. And I'm just going to sort of put this all into the same bowl because this will make the base flavour. Garlic. A big cloves of garlic there. We've got some bird eye chilies. Now I don't want this dish to sort of blow our heads off. There's a little trick on how you can get the seeds out whilst keeping sort of rings of chili, and that's just to roll your chili like so. You can see the seeds just start to sort of pop out of your tiny little chili. seedless chilli. Now of course if you have done that with your bare hands just remember don't scratch your eyes or anywhere else. Finely sliced rings of bird eye chilli. Left a couple of seeds in there that's okay and that goes with your base flavour. Ginger, garlic, chilli. If you want you can add a bit of coriander stalk to that and you'll get a really nice fresh base flavour. We'll use the rest of the coriander and just pick that for garnish later. There's little things like this that you can do at home that you definitely wouldn't get from a takeaway or restaurant. Fresh flavour from your coriander stalk. So I've got my base flavour ready, I'm going to start on my beef and we want nice thin strips of beef. Now I've got a fresh bit of steak here but traditionally in sort of Chinese restaurants you might actually freeze your beef so that you can cut similar sort of lengths of beef out. You don't have to do that, you can just do it from fresh too. So if we are doing it from fresh, you just want, I want it quite sort of almost chunky strips so I'm going just sort of three to four millimetres thick. And then once I've got to this point where there's smaller pieces, even then I want to try and get them into as long a strip as possible. So just open that up. And then these strips, I'm going to sort of halve. So I've got good lengths of beef. So I'm going to season or marinate my beef first. Classic Cantonese marinade, light soy sauce, about a tablespoon or so of that, a teaspoon of sesame oil and a good pinch of sugar. Give that a good massage through and get all that flavour of the soy into there. And then I'm going to crack a whole egg into my meat. And that egg is there to help bind the corn flour. Right, so next up we're going to season this big bowl of corn flour with a good amount of salt and pepper. And this is where what I'm trying to do is get a dry, sort of dusty white consistency or batter 
around each strip of meat. Which is why we have so much corn flour in here. A lot of people ask me if it's excessive amounts. Yes, it is. It's excessive because it's a foolproof way of getting a really crispy finish on dishes like this. So your beef can go into the corn flour. And at first they might start to sort of stick together, but eventually they'll separate out. So you can see that's quite sticky at this point in time. You want to massage that corn flour into the beef until each piece starts to separate out nicely. And this is by no means one of those sort of thick, almost like bad fish and chips batters. This is really thin, super crispy. Now my pieces of beef are trying to separate out now. And you can see, at this point, I can start to pick out individual strands of beef. And that tells me that that is going to be really crispy all the way around. So now I'm getting my separate pieces of beef. Just give it a light sort of shake before you just pop that onto a plate or a separate bowl just so that there's not sort of excessive amounts of corn flour going into the fryer. So when you're frying your beef, I'm gonna do a double fry to make it really crispy, and it needs a little bit of time in between the two fries. Always check your oil first. Got some wooden chopsticks here, and you can see that that's fizzing away almost instantly. So that instant fizz tells me that the oil is at about 180 degrees C. I've got a fair amount of beef here, so I'm probably going to do this in two batches, just so that it doesn't overload the wok. If you overload the wok, then it will lose heat very quickly. And what I want is for each piece of beef to be nice and crisp. Now even after this initial fry, you can see how quickly the beef sort of crisps up around the edges. Drain that. That's not quite ready yet, but literally 30 seconds to a minute on a good heat for the first fry. Just before the second fry, we're gonna make your sauce. As I say, it's very similar to sweet and sour, but you need that sort of sweet, sour, savory flavor for this. So I've got some Ching Kiang black vinegar for my sour here. That vinegar made from that black rice husk. I'm going to go quite heavy on this, so six spoons. To balance that sour out, we've got some honey instead of that traditional sugar. I don't want it as sweet as I want it sour, so I've got four spoons of honey. Give that a good stir through, just melt that honey into the black vinegar. Three spoons of ketchup, very typical Chinese ingredient, or well, has become so over the years. And then lastly, about half a spoon of dark soya sauce, and that will really sort of deepen the color of this caramelized sauce. And that's my sauce ready to go, and it will interact really nicely with the garlic, ginger, chili especially with that black vinegar in it. it, kind of cuts through. Now on your second fry, you want your oil to be really nice and hot, because you want it to be sort of instantly crispy. And this time, if the oil's hot enough, you should be able to just pop everything in at the same time. Oh, there goes one. High heat, one minute, possibly two, not too long, but I want it to get really crispy at this point. You can see that instant crisping from that second fry. My crispy chili beef is seriously crispy. Small amount of oil in the wok for your spices. Smoking hot, spices go in. Fold that round nicely to cook it without it burning. At this point, if you aren't filming like us, it's probably best to get your extractor fan on because that chilli really hits the back of your throat. Once that cooks through nicely, you get to smell that sort of garlic and the ginger. At this point, high heat and your sauce goes straight in. 
You can smell that black vinegar really hitting the bottom of that wok. I'm bringing your sauce to a vigorous boil. As soon as it's vigorously boiling, your meat can go in. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, flicks through or wok tosses through and serve up. A bit of coriander to garnish. Quite like to actually throw that into it whilst it's still warm. You'll let those leaves wilt into the dish. You can see those chunks or strips of beef have kept their crispiness. You've still got a nice colour because we haven't used excessive amounts of that dark soy sauce, just enough to give it a good colour. Crispy chilli beef, simple as that. Best part of any day. Mm. I never used to get why the British public love crispy chilli beef so much, but I get it. Now, it has to be crispy, but that caramelised flavour, that slight tang or that sourness from that black vinegar. Oh. The bowl of rice, perfect. If you like this recipe and you want to learn more about Asian cuisine, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.